don't think of your teeth as a row of bones sticking up in your mouth. They're more like crystals that can shine like a diamond if we give them the right care. Hi, I'm Dr. Ellie, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about your marvelous teeth. I was motivated to make this video after a comment that said, was kind of detrimental, saying that who was it that would have created the mouth? putting 28 bones poking through flesh in a cesspool of saliva. And if you look at the mouth that way and think of your teeth as bones or equally badly as stones, you're not going to see the picture as it really exists. So I'd like to change your viewpoint and say that our mouth is beautifully and incredibly created and explain why I believe that. The problem with most mouths is what we do to them. First of all, they, our teeth are not bones. They are not things that just poke up. They are incredibly structured and they have layers of structure. The outside one is enamel. There's then a softer one inside that is dentin. And in the center of a tooth, we have blood vessels, nerves, stem cells. Everything connects with the body. So our blood supply that flows around our body flows inside every tooth. Cells, these stem cells that are inside teeth are in baby teeth and in adult teeth. Their purpose hasn't fully been understood. And the nerve supply, as anyone who's had any treatment knows, is a very active nerve supply that's generated by little tiny odontoblasts. They're these cells that live in the tooth center but they feel all the pressure changes anywhere in the tooth. So the tooth knows as if it's being attacked. It knows if there are bacteria coming inside the tooth. And it even has the capacity to lay down a cement barrier. The problem with us and with the way we take care of teeth today in our modern society is we don't give them enough respect. We're constantly eating. We're constantly sipping. We're taking the 20 ounce drink. We are never giving our mouth the chance to repair and remineralize itself. These teeth need a moment just to gain traction, to get back to where they were before the things you ate and drank damaged them. And we don't give that time to our teeth. And then when we do, when we think we're cleaning our teeth, we're using bleaching and whitening and abrasive things that we want the whitest teeth that have ever been, whiter than there's ever been on a chart. Today, people want colors that don't even exist on those charts. A modern day dentist has to have a chart with colors that are not natural. They're in the blue zone. They don't exist. Nature didn't make teeth to look that color. And we try to make our teeth something they cannot be by treating them in ways they should never be treated. One of the ways that artificial whitening works is it takes these little crystals of enamel. You see, enamel isn't like a ceramic teacup that you can just put in some bleach water. Enamel crystals are all these tiny little crystals lined up in these amazing ways with a little bit of liquid in between each crystal. And the crystals, when the light comes onto the tooth, it reflects and refracts the light in all these different directions that make your tooth sparkle. Like a diamond rather than a teacup. Because your tooth is actually made of glass. It's translucent on the outside. So when you're bleaching your teeth, first of all, they have to, the bleach materials have to get through this outer layer. And they do that with these acids that make it more porous. And then the bleaching process occurs on the softer, more yellowy, live part of the tooth on the inside. But what's actually happened is the water layers between the crystals has been dehydrated out of the tooth and then either left dehydrated, was what, what used to happen in the first days of bleaching, but then everyone was in so much pain, they've now come up with a process where they can put gels and other liquids in where this liquid was supposed to be. And that's how they get your teeth to look blue-white. This artificial, strange color 
with these strange chemicals in between all the crystals of your teeth. Think your teeth like that? No. And anyone who's stopped whitening their teeth knows that their teeth will not only be more sensitive, they'll stain more easily, they would just want to get them back to where they were before they started. One third of the business in dental offices today is whitening people's teeth. And the question is, is that safe for them and is that good for them? And the answer would be no, it makes them fragile. It makes them, if they do get a cavity, the cavity has much easier time going through the tooth than it did before. So don't blame the design of teeth. Teeth were designed incredibly in normal circumstances, they repair and regenerate the outer enamel constantly after everything you eat and drink. If you give your saliva time, your teeth will repair themselves. Your gums will repair themselves. The problem for us is that we use dirty toothbrushes. We kiss people with bad teeth. We shower our mouths with acidic drinks and sugar. And then we wonder why our teeth that our pores have become stained, why our gums have become infected. It isn't the, the fault of our teeth, it's the fault of how we take care of them. So to, in answer to that question, I believe that our teeth are incredibly designed. I believe the more you understand about the way teeth are designed, you see how it dissipates forces, how it resists pressure, how when the bacteria are healthy in our mouth, they form something called a biofilm layer that is almost like a coating over the outside of these crystals. And this biofilm is a mesh made with healthy bacteria meshed with proteins to form almost a bulletproof shield over the outside of our teeth. And what do we do? We go every three or four months and have this cleaned away by the dentist, sometimes for no reason whatsoever, thinking that for some reason, the more our teeth are cleaned, the shinier they will be, because that isn't the way teeth become shiny. If your biofilm is stained, I agree, it may need to be cleaned away. If your biofilm is infected, you need to work at it with xylitol, with the systems and strategies I recommend, get it not to be infected. But once you have a healthy mouth, the best thing we can do is learn how to look after it, and then it will look after itself.